May you never again in your life see your hard times and your struggles and your difficulties and your disruptions the same again. May you know that amidst the Friday that there is a Sunday coming. That amidst the death there is a resurrection. May you know that true beauty always comes from ashes. Ask everyone to bow your heads and close your eyes. And as the worship team sings a song, I'll invite the ushers to come up and distribute the elements of the communion. embrace the disruptions in our life. And I don't know what side of the spectrum you're on in the spectrum of suffering. You could be on the one side where all hell's breaking loose and you could be like there's this sense of overwhelm and you don't know what to do. Or you could be on the other side where life is just going awesome. Hey man, I got a good job. I make good money. Everything is all perfect and, and life is good and regardless. There is a disruption To make us re-question, to make us rethink, to make us reevaluate. And some of us have to see the disruption and then say, okay, now where is the elimination? What in my life do I need to strip away and get rid of? What is the, the sculpture inside the soap that needs to be released and set free? What is important and what is not? And let's not do the things that are not important and start doing the things that are. Maybe some of us have to look at our disruption and say, why did this happen in a sense where how can I relate to someone? How can I bring solidarity? How can I use my experience to bless somebody else? There's some of you in the room who just need to know that God does not waste anything. There's not a situation or a circumstance. There's not a feeling that we go through. There's not an experience that has happened to us that God does not have the ability to take and use and change in our lives. Some of y'all just need to know that God is essentially here saying, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. You're not alone in this. If you just lean on me and trust in me and cast your cares to me, you will see only beauty come from these ashes. So I'm going to let the worship team just lead us in a song. At any time throughout that song, when you want to participate in the communion, you go ahead and you participate in the bread. You go ahead and participate in the cup, remembering what that all represents. And at the end of, at the, end of the song, I'll come up and I'll close this in prayer.
Father, we thank you that this Easter we can remember all that you've done for us. I just pray that the reality of everything that was done, the reality of everything that you've done just becomes reality in our, in our lives, in our situations. That it wouldn't just be something that we read about or know about or hear about, but God, it would be real in our lives. I thank you, Lord, that you never left us alone, that you were with us always. And Lord, that we can come find you through each and every one of our situations and circumstances. So we thank you, Lord, that grace and peace will be with us all the days of our life, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit will be with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. <clears throat>